Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry, and today we're going to continue the series on how to format your various hard drives for various purposes via formatting our hard drives with the Windows command prompt. Yes, we're going to be doing things the old-fashioned way today, which is the way that you used to have to format and do everything on like DOS computers, with the command prompt. And you can still do a whole lot of stuff via the command prompt, even on Windows 10 today. In fact, a lot of programmers swear by it. I've used it occasionally, but I've never been super crazy about it. So basically what we need to do is we need to open up the command prompt to start. So to do that, we're going to go down to the Ask Cortana window, and we're going to type in CMD, and the best match will come up with the command prompt. We'll hit enter, and that'll open up this black terminal window, which is the Windows command prompt. And what we're looking to do is we're looking to bring up the disk partition tool or diskpart.exe. And in order to launch that, we're just going to type in disk part and then hit enter. And that'll bring up a little window that says user account control. Do you want to allow disk part to make changes to your device? And I'm going to say yes. And that's going to open up a very similar looking window which opens up the system32 program of diskpart.exe, and this is what we're going to use to make changes to some of the hard drives plugged into our computer. And basically, this, this program has the ability to scan your computer and determine all of the different memory devices that are currently plugged in that it can then use to do things like partition them. So what we're going to type in now is we're going to type in list volume, and if you're having trouble with the commands, you can just type in um, something like garble, and it'll tell you all of the different commands that you can use to start doing things. But what we're looking here to do is we're looking to list all of the different volumes, which is right here. This will actually tell you all the different commands and what they do. But we're looking to list all the different volumes currently plugged in to this computer. So we're going to type in list volume, and now we're getting a little list of everything that's currently plugged in. So volume zero is my DVD drive or my CD drive. Volume one is the system reserved memory for doing system things. Volume two is my boot drive that has my operating system on it. And then volume D down here, volume number four, is my secondary hard drive where I store all of my stuff. And this is actually kind of nice because it'll A, tell you what each one of these drives is being used for and if you should be messing with it or not. And it'll also tell you the health of your drive, which is a nice way of saying, is my drive falling apart? Is it having errors? Is it about to die at any moment? And basically what I'm looking for is I want to mess around with volume number seven, which is my Chupacabra thumb drive, which is currently set to NTFS. So in order to format that, I'm going to type in select volume seven. You can also type in select volume H and hit enter. And that's going to select that volume to be edited. And now I type in format, format um, or FS equals, uh, what do I want this as? Let's change this to an XFAT file, XFAT. And we're gonna do a quick format and we're going to label this equals um, Chupacabra thumb or CH thumb, and I'm gonna click enter. And this is going to, if we clicked the slow format mode, it would slowly tick down the percentage that was completed, but since we clicked, we selected quick format, it just did it lickety split like nothing, and then it said successfully formatted the volume. So now if we type in list volume, it'll say that the CH thumb at the bottom is an XFAT drive, but since I'm moving this drive between two Windows computers, I'm going to set it back to being an NTFS volume. So I'll, select, I'll just say select volume seven, and it's already selected. That's what this little star here means. But I'll just do it again just to be sure. And then I'll say format FS or format thingy or format, what does that stand for? Is that format style equals NTFS? We'll type in quick format, and then for the label, we'll say um, equals uh, chupa thumb drive. I will hit enter, 
In fact, let's not have this be quick. Let's go back in time, and let's just disable that, and we'll just say, let's do it the slow way. Oh, did I mess that up? I guess I need to help format. What is the correct uh, format for this? So we need format, FS, revision, recommended, label, unit, quick, compress, override, duplicate, no wait. I guess it just gives us, it just wants quick. So I'll just say um, format, FS equals NTFS. We'll do this quick again. And then label equals, oh, you know what? Maybe it didn't like. Maybe it didn't like the space. These things often don't like the space. We'll say label equals um, chupacabra thumb. We'll hit enter, and then this will slowly tick down the time it takes for us to format the drive from like 0% to 1% to 5% and everything. And this, depending on the size of your drive, if you do it the slow way, can take up to 24 hours. This should only take about maybe five to 10 minutes. But this is basically how you use the command prompt to very quickly and easily format your drives. Maybe not easily for some people who aren't used to command inputs, like I haven't done this in years. But some people were asking me how exactly this works, so I figured I'd make a quick little brief tutorial on how all of this happens. Now, I will say if we drag up the window a little bit, that a lot of these descriptions are not nearly in-depth enough when you just type in looking for the correct commands and the sequences to put them in for the average person to really get a good grasp of how a command prompt style uh, program is going to work, behave, and what commands you need to use. So my recommendation is just look up uh, getting started using the Windows command prompt and all of that stuff. Look up some guides online, and a lot of those will have some information to go more in depth into each one of these features and what they're used for and where you can get started becoming your own little script kitty. But for our tutorial today, that's gonna be it. Uh, this is how you use the diskpart.exe program to format your hard drives and your thumb drives via the Windows command prompt. And this is currently one of the only ways that you're going to format drives into something like FAT32, which is an older file type that is really not used by pretty much anyone anymore. Although the PS4, which just had the ability to plug in external hard drives into, for some reason uh, uses that as one of its external drive formats. Uh, by default, the system will default to XFAT, which is the one that you want to be using. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. If you have any questions, throw those into the comments below. Otherwise, uh, that's it. Have a good one, everybody, and toodaloo.